Hello, welcome to this week's vlog. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Leadership Lean and how it can really help you this week level up your leadership journey. So let's put our best foot forward and see where we get to. Okay, so as you can see, I'm not off on a walk today, but it's very much linked to what I'm gonna be talking about, about the leadership lean. And we say every week about put your best foot forward, but that's just a really good thing to be thinking about. And it led me to think about having this leadership lean. It comes from sort of self-awareness and best practice, being the best for you. Um, a lot of people think about where am I, a lot of people talk about where you're on the line, you're above the line, below the line, um, a line in the sands, um, it, it's very much about self-awareness and are you aware of where you're currently at and also leaning in the right direction, are you stepping in different directions, are you moving forward? So let me explain in a little bit more detail. I want to tell you a quick story, I, I shared this a couple of months ago now actually about how I approach and um, the normal start of the week. So I make sure that I supercharge my Mondays and my weeks actually start on a Friday into probably Saturday and Sunday. So over the weekend, I'm thinking about what I'm doing on Monday, I'm making sure I'm hitting the ground running. By the end of Friday, I'm thinking, who do I really wanna to speak to and what sort of things do I wanna be doing on a Monday? Because it's that stereotypical, yes, I've come from an ex-military background, so I had a, I say normal, I, I did have at some point, say nine to five role. <coughs> and it's that living for the weekend concept, and I've never felt that, but you understand why I sort of talk to clients and talk to myself about really setting yourself up for a Monday morning to lean metaphorically in the right direction, because that leadership lean, if we lean, we're gonna at some point have to step. Okay, so even if we have to slow down and it goes back to that concept I say about people busy being busy, we're doing everything and we're probably falling over ourselves. So it's that balance, balancing acts. And as well, we can slow down and, and sometimes yes, we can stop. But I always say to people, if you're gonna stop, make sure it's a purposeful stop, make sure we're aware of it. Because some people, and again, it goes back to having control over yourself, your teams and your organizations, that if we're stagnating, that's a negative. If we're stopping for purpose, if we're stopping to be strategic, if we're stopping to review, that's great. Um, leaning also links into that lifelong learning. So at any stage you feel like you're stopping the, le the learning journey, we need to lean because we need to start making those little breadcrumbs to like what's gonna excite me, what's gonna push myself forwards. Um, talking about self, um, it's come up in the last couple of podcasts, the importance of understanding your personal leadership journey, but at the same time, leadership is about others, okay? And then I've just recorded, uh, you might have seen on my social media channels, the end of last week, the 50th episode of the podcast, which was amazing. Um, but my dad, um, who I hosted, if you haven't seen it, my dad's on the 50th episode, um, talked about the impact he had on people around him. So again, that self-leadership piece. But again, if you focus on that, and then you go away from that having to tell people what to do, because they're gonna be mirroring and matching your behaviors. So understanding your lean, your, your leadership lean, is gonna help reflect and come across on others as well. So. I think you get what I mean. <laughs> I don't need to go down any more lines. So this Wednesday, I always do this on, on the vlogs. This Wednesday, we have this gentleman here, Ben Thexton, amazing interview. Uh, it was a pleasure to host him. He's written a book about his unexpected journey. And if you'd seen the promo at the start of the month, um, how he came back from a brain injury, and we, we talked about the, the, the journey but also very specifically about how it's impacted his now leadership because he now runs his own business. And it's amazing when he's reflected and all those skill sets that he's brought from his self-leadership, now he puts into his leadership journey as well. So 
get with that. <laughs> Hopefully that, that works in the, in the edit. So make sure you go and subscribe to the YouTube channel. You'll get all the podcasts, you'll get all the vlogs. And remember the website is weeks, weeks, I'm gonna say days. I'm gonna say days, maybe, yeah, maybe a week away. We're we'll really looking forward to seeing that um, and sharing that with you. It'd be a fantastic start knitting everything together. And <laughs> have a fantastic week. Speak to you soon, bye.